Island ecosystems are some of the most exciting environments in the world. As small as many of them are, they give rise to an exceptional range of animal and plant species that evolve in unique, isolated environments. In fact, islands have the highest concentrations of biodiversity in the world, but also the highest number of extinctions. Jamaican iguanas are a critically endangered island species that Lincoln Park Zoo and its partners are working together to save from extinction. Jamaican iguanas are considered one of the rarest reptiles in the world. They are also Jamaica's largest native land animal. These reptiles are a national treasure and a source of pride for Jamaicans. They are primarily herbivores and can grow to more than 30 inches long from head to tip of their tail. Because the population is so low today, we do not know too much about their behavior in the wild. What we do know is that these animals are vital seed dispersers in their limestone forest habitats. Jamaican iguanas have played a significant role in the life cycle of the island. Their disappearance could adversely affect the things that have made Jamaica such a beautiful place for both residents and visitors. While these iguanas were once common in Jamaica and on surrounding Great Goat and Little Goat Islands, they started to decline in the late 1800s. As with many island animals, their numbers were decimated when people introduced invasive species like Indian mongoose, dogs, pigs, and cats. Human development was also a factor. In fact, the iguanas were considered extinct after about 1946. Then in 1970, a single iguana was discovered by a hunter's dog. And in 1990, it happened again. Following these sightings, researchers did a survey that revealed less than 100 iguanas surviving in the Hellshire Hills in the southern part of Jamaica. The rediscovery led to action. In 1991, the Jamaican Iguana Recovery Group formed to protect the remaining population of Jamaican iguanas and to help it grow. To do this, they used a conservation technique called head starting. During head starting, iguana hatchlings are kept safe in human care until they're about two years old. Then they're released back into the wild with a better chance of survival. Lincoln Park Zoo is one of the recovery group's partners. We care for a pair of Jamaican iguanas in case disaster strikes the small wild population. Taking care of them at the zoo also helps us to learn more about these animals so we understand their needs better to help them survive. We also educate people about the challenges they face and the prospects of recovery. All of this work has led to a conservation success story for these iguanas. The wild population now has more than 300 animals and it's growing even though these amazing reptiles still have to contend with invasive species and habitat loss from charcoal manufacturing and other human activities. You can take action with us by supporting our conservation efforts, being mindful of the effect invasive species have on native plants and animals, and by spreading the word of how amazing reptiles can be. Hopefully we can continue to watch the Jamaican iguana population thrive and grow into the future.